Hey guys, last week I created Cave Thorn. This week I tried to make this with Claymation. I just mentioned the task for today. I tried to animate the morphing process, the effects from Cave Thorn to its vampire state and therefore we have to create the vampire state. I start with this and there is something special, not only about this creation, but also the one from the week before, Kato Thorn and the vampire both will be... how to describe it? Well, you can animate them. I am creating movable joints for the arms and also the legs and I am so curious to see how this effect will turn out. If it works in the end, or if I completely screwed up. But let's let's focus on the vampire first. I am modeling the chest. And also some other body parts. And then we can work our way up from here. This is the skin tone. We have this dolphin grey on the feet and also the chest, arms. So many of you created further amazing background stories. This one is from Dragon Ninja. Kaido Thorn was a man who came from the same clan as Ronin and he loved collecting valuable artifacts. So he has built a time machine to get them easily. But the machine has a major consequence because every time he time travels, he causes an eclipse. He wants time travel to get the Kalis of Cubetastrophe. <laughs> so he visited the ancient civilization that lived at the jungle. The people were very friendly. They was bitten by an ancient bat. The bat changed him, but he tried to hide it. He really loved the people, so he taught them to build machines out of genetic ore. But when he collected the Kalis and activated the time machine, the eclipse started and suddenly Kado couldn't control himself with a huge thirst for blood. So he slaughtered the whole civilization except for a few that could ex escape. Now every trace of Kado Thorn's human side disappeared. The few people that survived built an apparatus as a warning that every time an eclipse happens, a great danger is coming. <laughs> Thanks so much for this brutal background story. You also wrote that I'm your childhood and it would be your dream to be in one of my videos. So I hope this made your day. Thanks so much for the amazing background story. Meanwhile, we have created a lot on our beautiful vampire. Right now we are adding the trousers. We have two layers here. The first layer is created with polymer clay. The next layer I'll be using this fake leather um, because it's movable and we will put it on top. Hit the bell, subscribe, you guys mean the world to me. I love creating stuff for you. So also please make sure to leave me your ideas down in the comments. It's my main source for future projects. So I check them out, I read them all. Um, unfortunately, I can't uh, answer everyone, but um, yeah, still wanted to let you know that I get all my ideas from your comments. Okay, the hat. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a weird shape. It's very sharp at the bottom. The ears are enormous. He reminds me of a bat, of course. The eyes have also a very unique positioning. Very narrow eyelids. And I try to make him fit onto the torso in a perfect way so that I can use this piece of wire sticking coming out of the neck for the stop motion animation. I am planning to do. These are the ears I am attaching to the side and still working with one color. Later on I will bring in some more clay color, 
but the main details will be painted after oven hardening. We have this skin lines um, and then they will be drawn. For the hair, they need to be made with black clay, so should the hair tail be. the hair. It's also movable because it is connected to the head, which is sitting on top of a piece of wire. He became a vampire by accident, walking into a dark cave, which was home to Venomous Bats. He got bit by a few and was rushed to the hospital. While at the hospital, doctors injected stuff into his body, which they thought would help but instead made him into a vampire. He got out of the hospital bed and went crazy around the hospital. He jumped out of a window and flew to his home. When he was walking in, his body started to morph into his original state. He figured out how to become a vampire and be a human at the same time. Thanks so much, Brady Lapalm. <laughs> we are creating the wings. Of course, they can't be missed on such a creation. I'm using aluminum wire as the structure behind and gluing them together somehow in a way with polymer clay. So these are the connection pieces. Then I make the legs movable by removing some pieces of clay for the animation. Now we are coloring the dark skin tones with my Copic markers. And later on I also have a very bright blue metallic marker to make the blue parts really pop out. Well, for the face, I already mentioned that we will draw everything onto the skin. Freshly baked, oven hardened wings, and we will use them to continue creating these enormous bat wings with some grey cardboard. I'm gluing them onto the cardboard and then try to find the perfect shape for them. There is one huge advantage um, with using aluminum wire. You can use it for stop motion animation just perfectly. Hit the bell, subscribe and again guys let me know what you would like to see next. Leave it down in the comments. It's my main source for inspiration for the channel. Yeah, this is the second layer for the trousers and it's my blueprint for the fake leather. <laughs> Used this on Cable Thorn, worked pretty well. Now that we are adding the second layer, we are almost there. We need to connect the wings to the body. I'm doing this by just drilling a hole and bending the wire. And it should be stable enough. Now I can finally start animating. I'm so excited. And we will start the animation with k 4 I now try to use some wool for the morphing effect to the vampire. Hey guys. 
guys. That's it. I enjoyed the process so much. I hope you liked it. The full animation. Leave down in the comments what you would like to see next. Hit the bell, subscribe, check out these two videos as well. Take good care. Bye.